our fruit holder, our fruit hammock. And our spice rack. Here we hang our mugs. Above that we have our cabinet that we used for all of our cooking pans and bowls and things like that. To the right of that is another cabinet space. It can be used for storage, but we used it for a space for our cat to jump up and get her food or just lounge. If you turn this way, we have another little cubby. In here, we stored books and other pens and just little random miscellaneous items. Here we have another cabinet space. Lots of storage. And this one, same thing, lots of storage for, you know, to use as a pantry or for clothing or whatever your needs are. Here we hung some sweaters and other things here. We have another hook here. If you look here, we have the switch to turn on the inverter. That way, if we wanted to turn the inverter on or off, we didn't need to go underneath the bed where the inverter is. We could reach it very easily from here. It also hooks up to our phone with an app that tells us exactly how much battery our solar panels have stored. Here we have our table. It works really well to sit and enjoy a meal, but it also works as a bed space. have a nice long guest bed that easily fits one person. Here we have one of two controls for our max air fans. We have a max air fan in the front and we have a max air fan at the back. Right here we have a curtain that we installed on this little curtain train above. If you pull it out the insulated material not only provides great privacy, but it also keeps the van nice and cool. So none of that hot sun or air from the front comes to the back. Above here, we have great storage for our window coverings or towels or anything else we need to put up there. If we look back to the back of the van, you can see that we have a nice big area that fits a queen size mattress. Here we have the heater that works with the, the van running. And then we also have a little compartment back here that opens up to the space underneath the bed. That way, if we are in the van and we don't want to go around to the back and we need to grab anything, we can crawl through. Or if we just need to put anything back there, we can slide it on back from the front. Next to the bed area, we have a little compartment that holds all of our important items that we want close to us or that we want to be able to access if we wake up in the middle of the night or in the morning, like chapstick or something that we want to see, keep kind of private and close to us. It also works really well to set drinks on while you're having a Netflix night or snacks and things like that. 
We also have a little DC USB outlet so we can have our phones plugged in there, there or any other devices. Next to that we have an electrical outlet so we can also charge our laptops or anything else that we might need. If you turn to the right, we also have a light switch we can turn on and off and we can dim as well for the back two lights on the ceiling. Back here we also have two cabinets with a shelf in between. We used these for storing our clothing. Below the couches we have two large benches. This one was used for our cat's litter box. Lots of space for her to go through and do her business. On the other side, we have the toilet. We made our own composting toilet. It separates the number one and the number two, and it has toilet paper next to it and kitty litter. If you come up front, it looks like your typical Sprinter van, except we installed a touchscreen GPS that also hooks up to your phone and plays music or podcasts or anything that you need while you're driving. We also installed a screen for the camera located on the back of the van. Not only is this a huge help when you're backing up the van anywhere, but it also really helps because the camera is always on so when driving on the freeway or anywhere else you can always see what's going on behind you. Let's go check out underneath the bed. So here we have all a huge space underneath the bed for storage. We put curtains so that it kind of just looks nice and clean and it keeps all of our equipment and everything underneath there really hidden and private. If you look underneath, there is a huge space. We have two 200 amp hour batteries and a 2000 watt inverter. We also have our 40 amp charge controller and then our breaker box and then all of our fuses above. Our battery bank can be charged three different ways. We have a cord here that we can plug into shore power. We have our solar panels which are 320 watts of solar on the roof. We also installed an isolator so that anytime we are driving, the van is charging the batteries. That way we will never run out of power. All right, that's about it. Thanks so much for coming and watching our van tour. Maybe you have some good ideas that you wanna share with everyone down below. If you liked it, give us a like and subscribe for more videos. See you next time.